Good Monday morning everybody. Up with the workers again. Fully, fully pitch black outside. Oh, yeah, up with the workers. Hi guys. Um, don't really know what to say about on this bit here now. Let's get out of the noise. Uh, I'm standing here waiting for my sister-in-law to come and pick me up. Now, the reason I'm doing that is Michelle has been involved in a, in a, in a traffic accident, a car accident. No other vehicles involved. Michelle's okay. I've spoke to her on the phone. But she needs to go to hospital and she's being treated by a, pass uh, a passerby who works at the hospital. So she's going medical first aid medical treatment, but we need to get her up to hospital. Now, it's very difficult for me to do this. I've just got a phone call from her. She's her car's she's worried about the car i ain't worried about the car so apparently she skidded off the road gone through a wall and ended up in somebody's garden uh or bounced off the wall i don't know i'm not sure yet what no now what's happening i can't drive because the other car's broken and it's not insured oh but blah 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 and i went for my sister-in-law come pick me up so we can go and get michelle and we can go off to hospital with her now it might sound callous me right doing this now, but I need to do something. I've just put the bin out, I'm just sitting here, I'm getting really stressed up, I'm getting really, really quite hyper actually. Because it's all right me being in pain, but when your loved ones are in pain, it's it's difficult. It's very, very difficult. So, and I made a decision, or, uh, or me and Michelle made a decision ages ago, that this would always be a what's and all vlog. We want it to be a family so that people, are, we don't want it to know bad language and all that so that anybody can watch it but we also want it to be real. I don't want to come on here and say yeah everything's absolutely hunky dory, Hello, we're off to Disneyland. Which incidentally we are, just snip that one in. But also rubbish things happen in life as well. Now a rubbish thing's happened this morning. Michelle's crashed on the way to work and I'm extremely worried. I've not seen her, I spoke to her. The sister-in-law's come in. My father-in-law's away on holiday, so he can't nip out and deal with the situation. Uh, but I need to get out there. I need to be strong. I need to do the right thing, but I'm worried. I'm really, really worried. So, consequently, I'm pacing about now, looking out the window, waiting for my sister-in-law to get here. I don't want to rush. I don't want to have an accident coming out, because it's... From what I've been told, she's all, Michelle's okay, but she's bleeding from her head, so there's always that chance. She's not taking an ambulance, which I wish she would, but... Anyway, I'll speak to you later. I can't, I'm, I'm running out of words, but I'm worried. Speak to you later. Okay, guys, this is us now. We're actually, I've got Michelle. We're at the, we're at the hospital. Are you okay? Yeah, we're at the hospital and we're just about to go in there and see what's going on. As you can see, wind. She's not very well, so move in. What? Okay, guys, I didn't think I'd be back at this place so, so quickly. Uh, Michelle's just been through triage. Uh, she doesn't appear to have uh, any serious injury, but she's got to go to the minor minor injury clinic to get double checked. Obviously, they're going to check out the head injury. Uh, she's also complaining now of her knees hurting and she's bleeding. But it's not too bad. And I've got absolutely no signal, so I can't contact anybody. My phone's out of, out of range. Pretty sure.
Okay guys, that's us right now. Uh, there's going to be a little bit of a photograph I'm going to put up later. Michelle's okay by the way, a little bit of a photograph I'm going to put up later. If you're a little bit scared of blood, don't look at it. Now, do you want to explain to the good people of YouTube what happened? Um, do you want to turn Sorry, excuse me, the sun's, I'm not sure if it's going to be getting on the camera, so we'll just move a minute. Okay guys, we're just moved under the thing, so Michelle, explain what happened this morning. Uh, I was driving to work, um, we came around a corner, the car lost control of the car, the car started spinning and I hit a wall, I've got some pictures of the wall the car and I thought it was a bit of a problem. I hit my head in the course of the accident, split my skull open just behind my right ear. Again, photograph one, and I was going to put that photograph up shortly. I'll tell you when I'm going to put it up. If you don't want to leave, skip forward. Um, so the glue man glued my scalp shut. I'm not allowed to wash my hair for 48 hours, which is fantastic because it's full of blood. They've managed to scrub as much of it out as it, out of the, the area as they can. I've done some tissue damage to my left knee, so they've given me some knee exercises to do. But they x-rayed it, and it's not broken, which is a plus. I was just waiting on Dad to come and get us. On the upside, we're on our way home. Five, five mile an hour accident. Could have been a, into a brick wall, a sudden stop. Could have been a lot worse. So we're, we're thankful of that. Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to count down from three, two, one, and the photograph will be going up. So if you don't want to look, just fa skip forward 10, 15 seconds. Okay, three, two, one. Yeah, guys, this is what happened to the car. I forgot to. I'm recording this bit later because I forgot to record it, but this is what happened to the car. Okay guys, we've got the wounded soldier home. That's Michelle settled down there with a concussion, uh, gammy knee, gaping wounded head. But she's still dangerous. I can tell you why she's still dangerous, because one of the symptoms of uh, I've been explained to me one of the symptoms of concussion is irritability. She might snap at me more. She proved that in the hospital by punching me in the belly. The guy with the pitchfork bellies from his operation. <laughs> she slapped me in the belly. I don't remember what I said, but you slapped me right in the belly, didn't you? <laughs> Revenge is sweet. I'm only saying that because I'm here now. Does it does it laugh when you, does your head hurt when you laugh? Oh. Yes. Oh. Yeah, what well, wax you just slashed out that right me right me pitch for wounds, all five of them. So anyway, that's Michelle. She's perfectly okay now. She, what's happening now is. All the, all the injuries are coming through, the whiplash, the shock. And, yeah. So, moving on. Okay, guys, because Michelle's ill, I've got a cook. So we are having... Cheese.
on toast. Okay, there you go, guys. One cardamom bleu cheese on toast for tea. See if Michelle's impressed. You impressed with your toast? That's all he's capable of making. Okay, guys, that's it. It's getting on now. It's uh, 25 past 8. We've both survived meat cooking. Michelle survived meat cooking and a car crash. So, how are you feeling? See, the knee's hurting, is it? I'm trying to make a quick rough puff, which basically involves knocking up a bit of dough and throwing some fat into it. I've literally Back never hurts. heard this before. So hurts. I'll be flying blind. It'll be a nice um, voyage of discovery for me today. <laughs> In actual fact, I'm pretty sure that my big toe on my right foot is the only part of me that doesn't hurt right now. Do you want me to fix that? This is no, I'll probably kick something in a bit. It's but a table that I usually kick that when I go for a picture. But if you could get me some ice or something for my knee, that would be helpful. Just going to dump fat into it. It might be a nice pack from the freezer. The fat has to stay in... Bag of peas. Big. Well, there might... Uh -huh. So then get some fair nice. Uh, so I was lifting my eyebrows. If they're too heavy handed with Why did you frown and say that oh, was bad and then frown? <laughs> Do you know, Michelle has a word at me for being stupid. Now, as you can see, she can't move for her legs. I can say things like that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Come on. Slap the wounded in the belly at the hospital, will you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> eh? And another thing, she got the nurse to bang up on me. So it was all my fault. The nurse was really nice to you. She let you photograph my injury. She let you photograph the big skeleton and everything. I know, it's good. I was going around photographing in the hospital. Um, but no, there should be, you know, one of the ice packs from the lunch boxes. Oh, yeah. yeah. There should be one of those yeah. in the freezer. I'll be back. I know to be a physiotherapist. Okay, so we've got a high-performance ice pack what stays colder longer. Basically, that's out of a lunchbox we have. So I'm just going to wrap that in a towel so that it doesn't wet Michelle's leg, or worse still, burn her leg. Or even even worse still, burn her leg and then get me in trouble. So there you go. I'm not going to put it on because I'm getting... So with that... Good luck keeping that on there. Well done. I'll jinx that. Okay, moving on. Well, uh, I think it's time we said good night. Let Michelle rest. So I'm going to go into bed shortly anyway. So it's a good night from me. See you all tomorrow. Hopefully, tomorrow's a better day. <laughs>